Friday. Uh, not much of a tool haul today, so we'll jump right on into what I got. Picked up this uh, Centec 3-in-1 portable jump pack. Uh, 630 peak amp, 330 cranking amps. So it's got the USB charging ports. The wires are uh, 6 gauge. And I got this so that way whenever I go pick up vehicles, uh, it's got a little work light too. Uh, I go pick up vehicles, I have something a little bit more uh, heavy duty compared to my uh, my little jump packs that I keep in my truck at all times. Um, whenever I picked up that Maxima um, and it had a bad battery, I had that little jump pack on there and after a few, you know, well I'd say a few, but you know, we we're, we we're continuously using it, trying to crank it up. Um, it drained that thing pretty quick because it was just pulling pulling all the power straight from it. So I figured get something a little bit a little bit beefier. Um, I got this one from Harbor Freight uh, with a twenty percent coupon. It made it fifty five dollars. So sorry, my allergies are really bad today. Um, so that's why I got this one. I know there's some other brands out there. Uh, JNS, Jump and Start, some other higher brands. I know the guy that I was out there with me, he had a snap on one that looked pretty badass, but his was going dead too, so it didn't do us any good. But I figured to get this one. Uh, it says keep, well, the reviews say, uh, the guys on the review say keep it charged monthly, so that's what I'll do. Um, and then whenever I need it, I'll, I'll bring it along with me. So. Yeah, I'll let y'all know how it goes. Uh, there's the light right there. Got a cigarette lighter on this side. One on this side. A USB port right there. Scoops down so they all have covers on them. And then, uh, let's see, got the work lights on. It's got a little battery tester. So, so yeah. All right, guys. Uh, nothing much. Been busy this week, so I haven't worked on the car at all. Um, I did get the uh, um, new strut mount in, so I'll get all this buttoned up and ready to post back in here. All right. Well, y'all have a good weekend. All right, guys, so I got the water pump off, tension off, yeah. time belt pulley off, other, oh, sorry, other tension pulley. Uh, went ahead and replaced the crank seal down there. So, I don't think you can see it from here. the old old water pump it's pretty stiff old crank seal tensioner pulleys so, I'll tell you what Hunter did an awesome job designing the uh, coolant spout so made quite a mess down here but Alright, we'll get the new water pump in and start getting everything back together. Oh yeah, I went ahead and placed the O-ring seals on this power steering pump. So, oh, there's the other one right there. I'll tell you what, this 24 inch uh, gear wrench, half inch ratchet, and you can break some bolts loose with that thing. I enjoy using it. There's a new one right here. Tension and pulley. And tension are down there. Okay. So, all right. All right, got 
the new water pump on. All the bolts tightened down to uh, nine foot pounds. Use this little husky uh, quarter inch drive torque wrench. These aren't too bad either. So I've been using these for a long time now. Uh, probably about six, six years or so. So they've been good. Yeah, it looks good. I got all that cleaned up. Um, use this Titan tool scraper, part number 17010. I'll tell you what, this thing right here, it scrapes out that crud like butter. So, all right. I'm gonna keep cracking at it. <laughs> 